What's up everyone, ETS here. Welcome back to the channel guys. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to prepare for the new set coming out in March, Battle Styles. So let's get into it guys. All right guys, Shining Fates has just came out and it is time to move on to Battle Styles. Even though more Shining Fates stuff is coming out, we're gonna be talking about Battle Styles today so that way you guys can get a head start. Uh, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best products from Battle Styles, the best cards, where to pre-order and how you guys can get your hands on them. All right, so let's begin by taking a look at all the products from the upcoming set. All right, guys, here it is. So I'm just on some random site with all of the information. But as you can see, Battle Styles releases March 19th. And there, it's a main set. It's like the fifth Sword and Shield set. So let's see what we have. There's, here are the pack arts if you're interested. You got Tyranitar, Empoleon, and the two Urshifu. And what's unique about this set is the different, um, what's it called? It's like a different mechanic. It's like Rapid Strike and Single Strike. Basically, there's some something to tie in with the card game. I'm not too sure on that, but if you play the game, you might want to look into that a little bit. So we have two Elite Trainer boxes this time, compared to Vivid Voltage and some of the previous ones where there's only one. There's the blue one with rapid strike and the red red one with single strike. You have your booster boxes, 36 packs in those. Got your usual stuff. And we have a build and battle box. If you don't know what this is, it's basically four packs in addition to a special promo with the logo on it. And I think we know what they are. Yeah, right here. So we know it's Houndoom, Octillery, and I think there's two more. Oh, and Cherim and Bronzor. I'm going to zoom in. There's Cherim. And here's Bronzor. I'm pretty sure those are confirmed. I don't think these will be too expensive. Uh, Houndoom will probably be the main expensive one if there is. This is not going to be similar. Well, it'll be somewhat similar to the Vivid Voltage building battle box, but the prices will be nowhere near as high because that one had a Charizard. This one does not. So... Prices will be somewhat low, even though these are low supply from what I've heard. All right, let's take a look back over here. So you have your single pack blister packs. Basically, these are, can I zoom in? No. But these are just single packs with a promo and a coin. Nothing too special. And then it does not show it on this website, bit, but there is also the blister pack with three packs. It's basically the same as this, I believe, but there's three packs and different promos. Oh, I think this one actually has a Charmander. That might be worth picking up. All right, guys, so let's talk about which one is the best to get. So obviously, Booster Box for opening, definitely the best. Comes, comes with 36 packs. Can't beat that for usually, well, the prices are all over the place because it's very high demand and we're in a shortage right now. But if you can get it for like, technically 140 is retail but most places do it for like around 100 msrp so anything less than like 110 i'd recommend getting uh, most places are done with pre-orders unfortunately but i will be talking about how you can pre-order some of this stuff still but just keep an eye out booster boxes are pretty much done for pre-orders though which is why i wanted to make this video earlier but i got caught up with shining face and stuff so sorry guys but we're gonna talk about how to get some of the other stuff. However, long term, as I talked about in my last video or the one before this one, or before last one, Elite Trainer boxes do really well long term. If you are looking at Darkness of Blaze or Vivid Voltage right now, both of those Elite Trainer boxes are doing very well. So if you wanna make some money, hold on to these a bit longer and they're very good display pieces. Yeah, so I recommend getting the Elite Trainer boxes and the Booster boxes. If you want to open more packs, definitely go Booster box. If you plan on holding, I'd say Elite Trainer box. And if you're looking to flip product, I would also say Booster box because prices on those have been very high lately, especially for newer sets. So if you're trying to flip, um, Booster box is the one for you. But be careful because reprints will happen, so don't hold too long. Now let's talk about these ones real quick. Build and Battle Box. There might be a way to get these early, depending on if your local card shop is doing a pre-release, because I know some places are doing that. So if 
you have an if you have a local card shop near you, try and ask about it. See if you can sign up. I'm not exactly sure how many places are doing it, um, but definitely ask around if you're interested in that. Places like GameStop and all of them will have these too, so keep an eye out for these. They'll be somewhat low supply, so I'm not really sure on price. These two are still better if you want to open. These might be a cool thing to hold on to though. As for the little um, blister packs here, maybe hold the Charmander one. I can see that having some decent value, but other than that, maybe not. And for the blister packs, it depends on the promos. I forget what they are, uh, but if you want to open packs, it's not bad at all. I mean, there's also your ordinary packs just like this for like $4 each. So if you're just opening packs, it's fine, but booster box gets you the most packs for your money. All right, so let's take a look at which cards are in the set. All right, so if you don't know, Battle Styles is composed of mainly two sets, being Single Strike and Rapid Strike Master. So I have all the Japanese cards up here. Most of these will be included in Battle Styles. I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but I think most of them are. So we're gonna take a look at the Single Strike ones first. So there's Flop, oh, these are all the Full Arts, Secret Rares, and Alternate Arts, by the way. And we'll take a look at Rapid Strike in a second, but first, Single Strike. So we have some Full Arts, we got Flapple, Tapu Koko. Mimikyu's gonna be a good one, I'm gonna say that now. This will be a popular one. Got Urshifu Full Art, this is the Single Strike. This one is the Alternate Art. This one looks pretty cool, actually. I can see this being a decent amount. Money and being somewhat, uh, somewhat high demand. Tyranitar Full Art, this is cool. But right here, this Tyranitar alternate art, I think this is going to be the most expensive card in the set based on what we know right now. Um, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I think it has a very good chance. Tyranitar is a popular Pokemon. This is a pretty funny artwork. You got Tyranitar all passed out after eating all the apples and stuff. You got Pig Knight in the background. Very nice looking card. I think it'll be one of the more popular ones for sure. You got Stoutland Full Art some full art trainers phoebe will definitely be a more expensive one i'm going to say that now all the female full art trainers are going up in value because you got some thirsty people out there if you know what i mean bruno might be good money because bruno has not had a full art card or might not even be this might be his first trainer card in general actually so this one could be some decent money this one i forget oh this dude's name is mustard this is a cool looking card not sure about price Got rainbow rare versions of all the VMAX, Flapple, Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko, I think, could be good. Urshifu Single Strike. Alternate art, Urshifu Single Strike. I like this one, too. Definitely going to be a good one. Bruno, Phoebe, another good one. Got Mustard again. Gold Houndoom, this will also be one of the more expensive ones, in my opinion. People like Houndoom, and I think it's the more popular gold card out of... Or, um, what's the other one? Octillery and him. Some random trainer cards that are gold. Alright, single strike. Oh, not single strike. Rapid strike time. Cricketune. I like that. I'm not sure how popular it will be. Probably not very. Victine. This is a pretty cool one. I can see that being a decent price. Empoleon Full Art. I like that one. Empoleon is my favorite Pokemon. So, I'm definitely going after these two. This one will be a decent amount too. This is my number one goal for the set to get this card. If I do not get it in a pack, I will be buying it. So I love this card. Again, it's like that Tyranitar one, unique art and just looks cool all around. And it'll be decent, but I think Tyranitar will still beat it out. Krasma full art, Urshifu rapid strike full art, Urshifu rapid strike um, alternate art. This one looks cool. Got Corvinet Full Art, Karina Full Art. This one's gonna be a decent amount. Got another Mustard card. This one looks better in my opinion. Cheryl will be a good amount of money. I'm gonna say that now. All the female ones go up in value. Fikini, VMAX, Rainbow Rare, Urshifu. This one looks sick. This one will definitely be one of the more popular ones. Uh, I definitely wanna try and get my hands on this if I can. 
This artwork just looks beautiful and I think it'll be very popular. Maybe not as popular as Tyranitar, but it'll be one of the best for sure. Rainbow Corviknight, Rainbow Karina, Rainbow Mustard, Rainbow Cheryl. Gold Octillery, this one will be good. Probably not as good as Houndoom, but it'll still be good. And you got your trainer cards here, the energy. This is some sort of new type of energy. I don't know too much about it, but I think that covers all the cards. However, we gotta talk about one more thing real quick. So in Japan, they just announced some cards from another new set, Matchless Fighters. And there have been rumors that some of these cards may end up in battle styles. This Blaziken here, it's a really nice looking card. I kind of feel like this could end up in battle styles. Because it fits the theme, because Blaziken is like a fighting type and fire type. So I can definitely see, see it being in there. I'm not going to make any guarantees. If it's not in this one, it'll definitely be in the next Sword and Shield set, which is coming out in June, I believe. But I think there's a decent chance this could be in battle styles. And here's the regular V card too. Both of them look sick though, I love those cards. Anything else we have? And I'll show you this one before we move on. Got Slowking. I think that's just a V card. I don't know if that's a full art, but it's a really cool looking V card for sure. And you got the V Max, which looks kind of nice too. All right, I think that does it for the cards. And now let's move on to pre-orders. All right, guys, we are on GameStop.com. And as you can see, these are not available yet. Pre-orders have not gone up for these. However, um, GameStop will probably have pre-orders for all the items except the booster box. And it, I think they'll have the build in battle too. So if you want to get it, battle styles, I think GameStop.com will be a good shot at getting some battle styles early. Or not early, but pre-order. However, you can order these in store right now. Uh, you just gotta go in, ask them, and I think most stores are doing it. However, be careful because as many people experience with Hidden Fates, or not Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, um, your orders are not guaranteed to come on release day, so be cautious. Online is safer in my opinion. Sometimes they will cut your order down, but this will be much more of a smooth release than Shining Fates. There'll be less demand. I'm going to talk more on that in a second. But GameStop.com, good site for pre-ordering. It is not going up yet. And there are definitely other sites out there that have not done pre-orders. So just keep your eyes out and you might get lucky. But GameStop, definitely a good chance. Yeah, so from GameStop, main priority, these Elite Trainer boxes, everything else, I wouldn't really go for. But let's move on to what release day is going to be like. Alright guys, so let's talk about release day. So release day is on March 19th, 2021. This is a Friday, and basically, this will be a much easier set to get than Shining Fates. People are sleeping on this set, uh, mainly because the set list is not out yet, officially. However, we do know most of the cards, so if you want to get this set, do not sleep on it. Get your pre-orders in if you can. And on release day, you know the drill. Check online because it will drop on Target, Walmart, um, not GameStop. Well, actually it might drop on GameStop, but it depends. Because if they do pre-orders, um, they might not release it on release day. And also, PokemonCenter.com, that's a good one. But their website has been terrible lately, especially because of Shining Fates. But I think Battle Styles will have less overall demand because... It is less like, people are less likely to try and scalp it, even though there will be scalpers, particularly for booster boxes. For everything else, you should be able to get your hands on it for sure. And let's talk about in-store real quick. In-store shouldn't be too bad, just get their release day, there will be some stuff. They're not going to buy all the like single packs and stuff, so if you're just looking to open a few packs, there will definitely be some in most stores. Uh, whether it's Walmart, Target, wherever you go. Alright, I think we talked about everything, so let's review everything real quick. So, we talked about which products are the best to get. The Booster Box and Elite Trainer Boxes, for sure. For the best cards, 
the Tyranitar, definitely going to be the best one in my opinion. If I have to make a prediction, it's going to be that Tyranitar. The, the alternate art, Urshifu VMAX. Maybe the Napoleon, not too sure on that. And maybe some of the other random ones too, like Mimikyu. Mimikyu actually will definitely be a good one in my opinion. I know Mimikyu has a lot of fans out there, so definitely a good one. As for pre-orders, just keep your eyes out. Some places are still doing it. And definitely keep an eye on GameStop because that is your best bet at this point. Because they will have the biggest stock out of all the remaining stores, I believe. And as for release day, check the usual stores. Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Pokemon Center. Those are the main four. Uh, definitely good stuff if you can get it. Alright guys, I think that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys learned something today or found this video useful. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye everyone.